Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video is so excited because I have all four shades of the new Charlotte Tilbury matte or pillow talk matte beauty blush wand yes so um you know she's had the wands before she's had the contour she's had the blush wand that had the sparkle which is of course pink bat-gasm and um peach gasm and then obviously the highlights but she finally came out with some matte blushes so these i was so excited i think these were leaked because a makeup artist that is a charlotte tilbury partner um for the golden globes was using these and did a like a little video of their their layout and these were there so was when I, as soon as i saw them i'm like oh i am totally getting every single shade so um they got here today and i did receive pillow talk in pr so uh, Charlotte Tilbury did send me these and then I did purchase the other three shades. So I have all four shades. I'm gonna be comparing them all. I'm going to be um, applying one on each cheek and then I'll kind of wash and then go back and do another one so you can see it on the cheek as well because I'm very excited about these. And I'm also going to compare them to the other liquid blush that I love, at least for swatches. I, um, I've i talked a lot before about the Rare Beauty and I have several shades of the Rare Beauty. Now I have just minis. I have a bunch of minis. I have six shades in the minis. Um, so I am going to do some swatches at the end and do some comparisons as far as um, what how they compare now as i've heard is that the rare beauty just from some people that have already tried the the pillow talk um bl uh, matte blush wands is that the rare beauty is a little bit more opaque where these are a little bit um sheer so i'm curious to see and uh you know i'm also curious as to which shade i'm going to like i think personally i think i'm going to like pillow talk and peach uh peach pop the most those are the ones that i think like if i were to only pick you know one or two shades to purchase those are probably the two that i think i'm going to like the most but we'll see i don't know we'll see which ones i like and then i'm also obviously going to compare them to the original peach gasm and pink gasm obviously these are um these have a lot of luminosity these are kind of like a hybrid between a blush and a highlighter and i like these but i don't um love them like they went viral like everybody else i think they're beautiful but i just don't wear them as often and i don't know i like them but you know i don't know i i, I prefer a matte blush more is what i would say um so we're, we'll compare them as well and let's go ahead and get started Okay, so the four shades are, first of all, um, they're all Pillow Talk, but we have the Pillow Talk Pink Pop, then we have the Pillow Talk Peach Pop, so the Pink Pop is just pink, the Peach Pop is considered a nude peach, then you have just the Pillow Talk, and this is a rosy matte, and then you have the Dream Pop, which is a cherry matte. So that is the description of the all four shades, and let's uh, go ahead and start swatching. Okay, first let's just take a look at the packaging here. So we have the pink, the peach, this is the Pillow Talk, and then this is the Dream Pop. So I, I love that the packaging match, matches the shade that it is, so that if you are you have all four shades like myself, you can just kind of reach in the drawer and know which one you're grabbing. Very similar to the peach and the pink gasm, except these are a little harder to tell apart. I mean, there's some difference, but they are, you know, they're, they're pretty close in shade. So this is the packaging, these have a little bit more shine to them obviously this is a matte blush so the packaging is matte which which is appropriate and just like all her other wands they come with this little sponge tip and the on and off so you can just do that and you're just gonna have to squeeze it to get the product so this one actually is coming out pretty fast so you can see but um, now I'm gonna start applying them I'm going to do pink and the pink pop and the peach pop on one on each side then I'll do some comparisons and then I will do the pillow talk and then the dream pop on each side and then we'll do some swatch comparisons at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I prefer, I tend to use um, a sponge when I apply these. I apply these directly to the skin and then I go in with a sponge. I don't like using a brush. Uh, I know some people do, but I personally do not. And sometimes I will just go in and just kind of mat it with my finger. So I'm gonna play around with these. Obviously, they're brand new. I haven't played around with them, but I'm going to try a sponge first because that's typically how I prefer to use these and also the um, any liquid blush that I use. 
Okay, so I am going to go in with the pink pop and I'm going to just apply it to the cheek. Ooh, that's really pretty. Um, and just kind of apply it here like I normally would. And I'm just gonna go in with a damp sponge. And now this is the lightest shade. So I think this one is going to be a little lighter. I'm gonna go in with my finger because I feel like if I go in with a sponge, it is going to um, kind of sheer out a little too much. So really pretty. Now this is one of the ones that I probably would not have purchased if I wasn't doing this video. Um, it's a really pretty color. I just am more of a peach or the pillow talk girl, but really pretty. I love, now it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It's matte, but I think that's might be because it's because it's wet. Um, so it'll be curious to as it dries down, but I like applying it with my finger. Um, just applying it here and then just going in with my finger, at least with this shade, with the sponge, it seemed to be taking off a little bit too much product, but that is really pretty. I am really liking this. Now this is just a very light shade, um, but really pretty. I, I really like this. Okay, and next up is going to be Peach Pop. You can see it right here. It's already coming out. And let's go ahead and start applying. And I'm gonna do the same. Now this one is definitely has a little bit more pigment. Um, it definitely has a little bit more pigment than the pink, at least from first glance. I'll be interested to see when I do the swatches. Now, I definitely like of the two Peach Gasm and Pink Gasm, I definitely prefer the Pink Gasm more. But um, now this one, I think I can go in with a sponge a little bit because it is a little, has a little bit more opacity to it. So there we go. But really pretty. Um, and they dry down really nice. Like I just really, I already like these more than the Pink Gasm and um, the Peach Gasm, mainly just because I prefer a matte blush. I could probably use those. I would love to use those as a topper to this um, after. So, but let's see. So that is the Peach Pop. Okay, so doing a face forward comparison, we have the Pink Pop on this side, and on this side, we have the Peach Pop. Now, from looking in my tiny little mirror, um, I see this, I I see a subtle difference, but it doesn't seem too much of a difference. Um, you know, but again, I'm looking at a tiny little mirror, so I'm curious how it's going to look on camera because a lot of times I think I see something in my mirror and then when I watch it on camera, I'm like, it looks completely different. But I'm curious to see, it It seems like it's a subtle difference. Obviously this one's peach, this one's pink, but I thought this one was going to be a lot lighter. But um, once I applied it, they pretty much came out to be about the same color, I think. Um, this one is a little bit darker, a little bit pop, you know, more pop, but I really do like both. Um, so again, pink pop and peach pop. Okay, so before we move on to the other shades, I am curious as to how the pink gasm and the peach gasm will look on top of these. I'm not, probably not gonna do it with the other two shades, but I'm curious as to how this will look on top. So I'm just going to put just a little bit on top and just to kind of give it so you can kind of see, this is obviously a lot, um, it seems to be a lot darker. So I'm just gonna put it like that just to kind of see, give it, um, you know, a little luminosity. So you can, if you have pinkasm, you could probably combine it um, and just put the pink, use it as a highlighter, but at the top or a blush topper. So that is it with the um, pink pop and the pinkasm. And I'm gonna do the same with the peach gasm and I would say the peach gasm is actually probably closer in color to the matte obviously it just has the luminosity to it but um, definitely in closer in color than the pink and the, um, the two pinks but again really pretty just wanted to try that out and see so again if you are one that has that already has pink or peach gasm and you're thinking about getting them you can definitely combine them um, and you know and add just a little pop of you know highlighter or color to the you know highlight the high parts of your cheek. Okay, so I am back, and I have to say, um, in order to get the product off, I obviously I don't know about longevity yet, 
However, I had to physically take off the entire makeup that I had on my cheeks. I had to completely redo my foundation because I, it was not coming off. Like I was even just trying to kind of like maybe touch it off. No, it was it was dry, it was down, it was not moving. So that's really good for longevity. Bad for this video because it did take me a little bit longer, but really good for longevity because it did it did take some effort to get it off. Obviously it was only on for a few minutes, but um, we're gonna go now in with the Pillow Talk shade. And honestly, of all the four shades, this is probably going to be my favorite. This is the one I think is gonna be my favorite. And this shade is exclusive to charlottetilbury.com. So the other three shades will be available at Sephora and other retailers. But as I understand it, the Pillow Talk shade will only be available on charlottetilbury.com. I don't know if that's long-term, but we'll go ahead and just just go in on the cheek and oh that's really pretty so that is it is considered a rosy matte but it's obviously you know very true to the pillow talk shade so we'll just go in and going to apply very very pretty and I am taking pictures um, and I am going to be posting on my Instagram and then probably doing a reel or a TikTok with and probably even a short um, of just kind of a real quick of each side by side so that you can kind of do more of a comparison and see the shades um you know because i only have two cheeks i can't do all four shades at once but um this is the pillow talk shade so yeah it's really pretty and finally we have the dream pop shade this is the one that's described as a cherry so this is probably not for my complexion but we're going to go in and i'm just going to go in very light-handed and see um and see how it goes and then I'll probably probably go in with the sponge after yeah that's that's a little much that's a little much but I'm gonna go in with a sponge and just kind of tap it out and I definitely will be able to make this one work but it's going to be a little bit more um, probably a little bit more challenging <laughs> and a little bit more effort um, just to not overdo it so uh, yeah it's it's bright, it's a bright shade, but it's really pretty. And I think this could be a really good shade to do some underpainting where you go in and then you go in with your foundation and tap your foundation a little bit more. So uh, I'll probably even it out a little bit more, but that you can see is the Dream Pop. So definitely a darker color, probably not for my complexion being, you know, light medium shade, but still really pretty. And I could definitely make this one work. Okay, so here is a side-by-side -side comparison. You have the Pillow Talk on this side and the Dream Pop on this side. It was able to just kind of even it out a little bit. So definitely, you can definitely make this one work. This one's going to give you more of a pop, but will work with darker complexions. But really pretty, again, I, I love all four. I'm a big liquid blush fan and I like a matte blush as well. So um, now these run $42. These are not cheap. They are pricey. So I think you really need to decide if you're going to get one, pick one or two shades. Don't do the crazy thing of me of picking all four shades. Um, obviously I did get this one in PR, but I did pay for the other three. So they're $42 a piece. Um, you know, pick which one, which shade you are going to use the most. Um, personally for me, it's going to be Pillow Talk. Um, I think Pillow Talk is the most versatile. I think it's, it's a, you know, Pillow Talk is such a neutral color. It looks good on so many people. So again, um, but I think, you know, really just depends on also your complexion and your preferences. A friend of mine that actually works for Charlotte Tilbury told me that Peach Pop is her favorite. So, you know, I think it really just depends. And if you can go in store and try out the three shades, definitely do that. But if you're buying and you're buying on Charlotte Tilbury, I think, honestly, I think Pillow Talk is going to be the most popular shade if I were to predict. I think it's just, it's the classic, it's the like iconic, you know, Charlotte Tilbury shade. Okay, and as promised, we're gonna do some swatches. So we're gonna start with the lightest, which is going to be the Pink Pop, and we're just gonna do it right here. So that is the Pink Pop. Next up is going to be Peach Pop. Next is Pillow Talk. And then finally, this is the Dream Pop. So one of the things I do like about them is that there is a big difference between all four shades. You're definitely gonna get a big difference between all four shades. So if you did pick up all four shades like me, then you're going to get some um, you know, difference between the four shades. Let's compare to some of the shades that I have from Rare Beauty. 
Okay, so first up is Bliss, and Bliss is a very pale shade. So there's Bliss. Next up is going to be Hope. Next is Peace. Next is Adore. Next up is Joy. And finally, this one's really tiny, but I believe this is called Grace. Okay, so my swatch has got a little crazy over here, but to be honest, there's really not that any like shade for shade dupes. Um, the only shade that I thought was very similar is Hope, which is probably my favorite from Rare Beauty, and the Pillow Talk. So I went ahead and swatched them side by side. So this is the Rare Beauty Hope, and this is the Pillow Talk. So the Pillow Talk has definitely got more oomph. Um, the formula is, is very, um, is very different. Now, some of these are matte, some of these are dewy. I'm not sure which one is which because I have them and they're so tiny. You, I really can't read anything. Um, they're all minis. I don't have a full size, but the, um, if you look at the Charlotte Tilbury ones, um, they are pretty much dry. Like I put them down and they are pretty much dry off. Obviously they're not moving. Whereas the the rare beauty if I were to go in yeah they're they're pretty much still moist so they're pretty still wet um like there they are but with the Charlotte Tilbury they're drying down it's 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 definitely um you know a matter formula so I I'm like now I'm a mess but um I really like the rare beauty but I think I'm going to like the Charlotte Tilbury more because I think it's going to have longevity. Um, I think that's really where, to me, that's why I like cream blushes because they do last longer. And just from, again, I haven't tried these out for a long, you know, for to see how they wear, but you know, trying to take these off my, I mean, my face, it, I had, I had to just completely take off my makeup, and just right there where the rare beauty, you know, um, they, they were, they were easily be able to mix together. The, the Charlotte Tilbury was not, and that's without, you know, setting with powder. So, I'm really impressed with these. Now again, they're really pricey. Really, just depends on what you're looking for. Um, but if you've ever, if you've ever tried any of the Charlotte Tilbury, um, products, or maybe you didn't try, um, you didn't try peach gasm and pink, pink gasm because you didn't like the, the, you know, the luminosity to them, then definitely you might want to try these. And I just realized that I was going to do a side by side comparison of these and I didn't. So let's do that now. And actually I'm going to take, um, this is the pillow talk one because I think the pillow talk is actually closer to pinkasm than pink pop. And I think I'm right, yeah. So let's do it closer together. So I'm gonna do it closer together. And yeah, it's darker than pinkasm, but it's definitely closer in shade than pink pop. So again, if you have pinkasm and you wanna do get a, a matte blush to complement it, you could probably either go with pink pop or pillow talk. Personally, I would recommend the pillow talk shade. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my first impressions of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. I love them, but I always thought I was going to. I was excited when I saw them and I couldn't wait to get them. So, uh, and honestly, I really love all four shades, but if I had to pick my favorite shade, it's going to be Pillow Talk. I think Pillow Talk, if you're going to pick up one shade, I think Pillow Talk is going to be the most versatile. Um, and then Pink pink Pop is the lightest, and Peach Pop, I think, is very versatile. And then Dream Pop is bright, um, and it's dark, so it's going to work for darker complexions or deeper complexions. However, I definitely can make it work, and I think it's also a beautiful, beautiful shade. So I love all four. I'm keeping all four. I think they're fantastic. I can't wait to use them more, and honestly, I think I love Rare Beauty, but I think they're going to replace my Rare Beauty because I use Rare Beauty a lot, and um, I think these are going to replace the Rare Beauty just because the the little that I've tried them, um, even when I was doing the swatches, when I was wiping the swatches off with a makeup wipe, um, the Rare Beauty ones came off fairly easy. These I had to scrub. Um, I had to, you know, kind of take some some force with it. And I think that's great because that means they're going to last. So really anxious to continue to use these and try these out and try them in the real world and see how how their longevity is. Because I think that's really going to be the, two, the true test. But so far, I think they're going to have a really great longevity. So um, 
as I mentioned, I think I mentioned this earlier. If not, if you've never purchased on Charlotte Tilbury before, I have a 15% promo code. It's right here. And it will also be in the description box and on my link tree. Um, and I do have an affiliate link. And um, if you use that, I do get 50, I do get a portion of the sale. I don't know what the, the, break, the breakdown is, but I do get a portion of your sale. Um, but one of those things is that when you do that, I can purchase these. And what I did today literally is um, money that I made from my affiliate links was used to purchase these products. So that's the reason why I can I can purchase products like these to make these videos because otherwise I would not be able to do that. So I appreciate those that do purchase from my links. It does um, help me continue to purchase products and make videos for you all to review going forward. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.